Hello, Fan Formula. We are into the second week, I think, of the F1 summer break. And all I can say is thank God for the Olympics getting us by this tough time with no Formula 1 action. Um, but we are 55% of the way through the season. And before we know it, it will be the final race in Brazil and we won't know what to do with ourselves. Um, so... Let's get on with this week's Fun Formula questions with question one. Right, I can't pick one race because all the races so far I've enjoyed watching. And, and I know everyone always mentions this and you're going to hate me for saying this again. But because the season is so unpredictable, you really have no idea what to expect. Which is why each race is so enjoyable to watch. Um... Question two, um, Lotus has really impressed me this season, you know, they're consistently scoring in the points, they have two fantastic drivers who are driving brilliantly, and they're battling it out at the top with Red Bull, Ferrari and McLaren, um, only time will tell when they will make it to the, stop, the top step of the podium, which I hope is sometime soon, because it would be really nice to see one of their drivers win a race because they're both really deserving of a race win. Right, question three. Um, I've been watching the Sky coverage all season um, and I know at first I did bash the coverage but it's slowly getting better each race they are progressing. Obviously, we've been set a really high barrier from the BBC, but Sky are making the coverage their own. They have a fantastic team. Um, I'm still not a fan of Mr Lazenby. I've tried to kind of warm to him over the 11 races. 11 races? Yeah, 11 races of 12, 12 races. I have no idea. Anyway, um, I'm, you know, I'm still not a fan of him. I think he just tries too hard for some reason because he was good when he covered the rugby. You know, I I really like rugby and I would watch it when um, he would do the coverage with Sky. But now he's doing F1. He's a bit pants. Um, but apart from that, it's getting there. So um, keep it up, Sky. Um, bonus question. The biggest blunders. Um, the biggest blunder for me would be the awful comments that Simon Lazenby made on Sky during the Monaco Grand Prix about the late Grace Kelly. Um, that comment was bang out of order. That it was so unprofessional, rude and disrespectful. I have no idea what possessed him to say that. Um, you know, he really needs a reality check that you cannot say that stuff on the TV. And how he still has his job is beyond me. If I was high up at Sky, I would have been like, you know, that's the straw that's broke the camel's back, you need to leave now because you are really disrespectful. So, anyway, um, another blunder for me would be all the penalties that have been dished out so far this season. I know they've been on everyone's mind. Um, none of them have really reflected the incidents that have happened. They've all confused me and I'm sure they've confused everyone else and so the FIA will probably be pleased with that because um, I'm sure they don't want everyone to know why they dish out this penalty for this incident but they'll only give this little penalty for a bigger incident. It's very strange but that is the FIA for you. Um, but there we have it. A Nice, short and sweet fun formula for you all to enjoy. Um, I hope you have a great, fantastic... I hope you have a great, fantastic end of the week. That was a really <laughs> rubbish sentence and poor grammar. But anyway, um, enjoy the Olympics. I know the end this week. Um, do something productive with your time before the Formula 1 starts up again in Spa. And... Um, I don't know if I will see you next week, depending on if there is a fun formula, because there will probably be nothing to talk about. So, um, see you guys, and I'll talk to you on Twitter or wherever I talk to you all. So, bye guys.